Goodbye. Just collapse. First time I did stand up, I had about uh, three minutes of material. One joke worked, and that was enough to keep me coming back. And I still do that joke every once in a while. There's a lot of people out there. Everybody, thanks for having me back. I love this city, Montreal. You can all still smoke in your clubs here, and it can't do that in the States anymore. No smoking. California started that law. No smoking indoors out there. They want everybody out there to be healthy. Joke's on them, though, because there's a really big earthquake coming. Huh. You know who's going to survive? All the smokers, because they'll be standing outside. summer so far. Record breaking. They always tell us the record highs and the record lows. You know, because people are obviously gambling on the weather. I've been having a lot of fun here. Someone invited me to play golf while I was here. I don't really play golf. Golf's not really a sport, you know. It's just a game, like ping pong. I gotta stop comparing Tiger Woods to real athletes. He's competing against the elderly, for Christ's sakes. Hasn't anybody picked up on that yet? Wow, he looks so lean and magnificent compared to that guy with the colostomy bag. Golf's the only sport that comes with a slave. Some spoiled millionaire dies ten years prematurely. If it's gonna help my team win, I'm willing to take that chance. The Olympics, they just make up sports. High diving? It's not a sport, it's a failed suicide attempt. They don't deserve medals. If you plunge 70 feet into water and you live, you're doing it wrong. Marathons, that's not really a sport either. It's just a waste of time. You ever want to piss off a guy who just ran a marathon? Three little words. Did you win? Horse racing? It's not a sport. Horse doesn't even want to do it. He's not running to win. He's running because there's a midget on his back. If you were walking down the street and a midget jumped on your back, you'd stop running too. I had to kill a mouse in my apartment a couple of weeks ago. I hate doing that. I don't use the glue traps, though. They're inhumane. I just crept up on him and slit his little throat. How come it's always ugly animals that break into your apartment? Rats, roaches, mice. Wouldn't it be nice if leaving out dirty dishes attracted puppies? You walk into the house. You know rat poison has an expiration date on it? What happens to poison when it expires? Does it become delicious? It's already close. Why do they call it rat poison? It'll kill anything. They could just as easily call it grandma poison. Oh, we got a new pope, Pope Benedict. That's not his real name, though. That's just a stage name. His real name is Joe Ratzinger, but they're not going to go with that one. <laughs> Too Jewish. People were sad when the Pope died, but you shouldn't cry when the Pope dies. He's the Pope. If anybody's going to heaven, it's the Pope. That's the best part about being the Pope. We should be celebrating his death. He's finally getting promoted. President George W. says he reads the Bible every day. He's 57 years old. Finish the book. What the hell? Oh, All religion is good. 
Except the Amish, they're a bunch of idiots. Their holy land is in Pennsylvania, for Christ's sakes. Do you see the flaw? We should take their land. Just give them a casino and get it over with. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually a tough religion being Amish, because not only are they a religious group, they're the only religious group that's also a tourist attraction. That's gotta be annoying. I'm a Jew from New York. I trade to have a busload of tourists from Nebraska pull up in front of my place. Look, there are the Jews right there. Just like it said in the brochure. Look at all of them in their natural habitat. Long Island. No, don't feed them. We'll just complain and send it back. <laughs> I love you, Montreal. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did it, it was a gig I did at Stoke University, it was the worst ever gig. I lasted about 15 seconds, I had loads of food thrown at me. Nice food though. I'm in a very good mood, I've got a great review this morning. Prompt and efficient pair, eBay. Uh, I've got a confession to make, but, well, I'm, uh, I'm drinking and driving. You see, everyone says it's dangerous to drink and drive. I can tell you two things that are far more dangerous than drinking and driving. One, drinking. Two, driving. Do you know how many people were killed last year in Britain as a direct result of alcohol abuse? 35,000. Do you know how many people were killed as a direct result of driving a car? 22,000. Do you know how many people were killed as a direct result of drinking and driving? 500. I'm not taking any bloody chances. I'm joking, of course. I'm not condoning drinking and driving. It's very wrong. It's for me anyway. I haven't got a license. Can I, can I answer this question, right? If you're on your driving test, I don't know if it's like in Canada, but in Britain, if you're on your driving test and an animal ran out in front of the car, what are you supposed to do? Run it over is the right answer, sir. That's what they say. They say anything else is a danger to other road users. I'm on my test. Everything's going great. Suddenly, this goat ran out in front of the car. So I remembered what he said, and I kept driving. A few seconds later, I look in the rear view mirror. The goat is fine. I've missed him by millimeters. Now, obviously, I didn't want to fail the test. So I slapped in reverse like that. I must have been chasing him through that field for about 45 minutes before I ran over his head, and he still failed me. So it's great to be here. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with it, actually. I got recognised in a shop called Future Shop. Yes, the electrical store. A member of uh, the staff came up to me and went, Hey, you're that mad bloke off the telly. I went, that's me. They went, no, you're that mad bloke off the telly. I've been travelling around quite a bit, doing gigs. Uh, I went to Australia, that was fantastic. I love Australia now. See, Austra oh, we've got some Australians in. I'm not going to take the mickey, obviously, we're just... Different languages slightly, you know. You have yogurt, we have yogurt. You have prawns on the party, we have yogurt. Uh, you use KY jelly, yogurt. Uh, you say uh, BYO, we say good guess. The question was, how do you spell boy? But you've got the best adverts in the world in Australia. They've all gone for mentally ill theme for some reason. If you turn the television on in Australia, some bloke will be shouting at you and go, Catch a French crazy carpets, half round bail. We've got crazy deals because we're crazy carpets. I must be bonkers. 50% of it, France crazy, bonkers carpets. What's the matter with me? I'll tell you, I'm half round carpet, bonkers crazy this big holy Monday. I've got shed, and I've got shed mental and shed world. 33% of a shed, am I insane? Of course I'm insane. I've got shed. My earthly man has a curl blade, you know. I invented the start sausage. Buy a shed off me. That's what they should do. They should get proper mentally ill people to reclaim the word. Do their own adverts. Hello, I'm Ryan Trifle. Am I going crazy? Of course I'm going crazy. I live in a mental institution in Wollabaloo. Why don't you come around this bank holiday Monday and watch me run around the table tennis room with me underpants around my ankles shouting, Look at me, I'm a chocolate biscuit. Yes, I'm Ryan Trifle. I'm a bit messed up and mentally unstable. This bank holiday Monday, I'm going to die from some stab in the face. Buy a shed off me. <laughs> 
The French, they've got the best adverts. Those French perfume adverts make so much sense, don't they? I see her. I want her. She is what she is. She sees that she is blind. She has legs, but she has no legs. She is alive, but she is dead. She's a woman, but she's a monkey. And I know that I want her because she is what she is. And what she is is a blind, dead, disabled monkey. And I know that I want her. Shut him off. I do now. What are you talking about? What does it smell like? Oh, I like those like that adverts you get. Do you want to consolidate them with your loans? It's a one simple, easy loan. Do you want to do that? Get all your loans and put them into one simple, easy, big loan? Yeah, that's going to help. Cheers. You don't do that with any of your other problems, see? Have you got three naughty children? Do you want to consolidate all of your three naughty children and just get one big fat child? Get rid of them! Get a big fat one! <laughs> How's that all? Oh, um, I've not done my time and I haven't finished, so um, I'll finish with a dance. <laughs> I love that's my vague attempt at river dance, by the way, in case you would realise. It's very easy to do river dance, isn't it? You just got to stand there going, can, can you smell dog shit? <laughs> Who's still in dog shit? Can you smell dog shit? Is it me? What's me? It's me! <laughs> <laughs>